This man is the victim of a crime. Yeah, just really amazed at the, the nerve. By a thief with an aggressive marketing plan. In many ways, the story is not out of the ordinary. A thief steals something, then advertises it on Craigslist. But our Dan Tilken is here with why this crime comes with a twist. Dan? Oh, the thief telegraphed his crime. It has to do with this ad right here. And just maybe he'll do it again. And just maybe he'll get caught if one of our viewers knows what to look for. It's out here for two or three days, I guess, because I'm, I'm working in the garage. In these pictures on Google Street View, you can see Russ Dunn's utility trailer was sometimes in front of his house in Vancouver. Until... My wife and I come out to go to the doctor's, and she walks around the side of the truck, and she says, what'd you do with your trailer? Trailer. Gone. Russ began scouring Craigslist. It wasn't until about the eighth day, my wife is looking under cars and trucks, and she found the ad. Found it. And the guy took a photograph of the trailer in my driveway next to my truck in front of my house and put it on Craigslist. This is the thief's ad. Look closely. That's Russ's trailer for sale for $300. That is Russ's truck. And yes, that is Russ's house. The thief took a picture for his ad before he even stole the trailer. I'm kissing the trailer goodbye, but it just galls the living heck out of me that yeah. someone would come up my driveway under my bedroom window and, and market it. If you look on Craigslist, you will see trailer thieves have been busy. Lots of owners are advertising, hoping for tips about the thieves who stole their property. And remember this? Surveillance cameras showing a truck backing up to a trailer in another Vancouver neighborhood in November. The passenger jumps out and the thieves struggle to get their truck lined up. Here comes Bob. Neighbor Bob Bolts noticed something wasn't right. And that's when the pickup took off. I mean, he big time fast. And this kid jumped up and took off running and I tackled him down here. The two wrestled in the road, but the thief got away. Well, I'm 57 years old. I, mean, I ain't no spring chicken anymore. Those thieves have not been caught, but Russ... Silly me, why didn't I lock my trailer down? ...is hoping for more luck. So he went back to the thief's ad, the one that claims must sell ASAP, need money for schooling. Russ copied the picture and posted his own ad explaining what happened. He got a call from a man who was going to buy that trailer from the thief but changed his mind. He met uh, uh, the fella and he said his truck had no license plates and there were four guys in it. And he says they looked like tweakers. The thief's ad has a phone number. All right, let's call this Sean guy here. We got the same result Russ did. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Despite calling, texting, emailing, it appears Sean, if that's his real name, doesn't respond leaving Russ to hope for another tip from someone who may have met the thief or even bought his trailer. <sighs> and to market it before he even stole it. To market it before he even stole it. What is what he's talking about? On this ad down at the bottom, there is a date time stamp on the bottom. And it is, you'll see here, that it says right here uh, on the 27th mm -hmm. um, at 1209 a.m. The trailer wasn't stolen until more than 24 hours later. So not only did the thief take a picture of it before he stole it, he advertised it before he stole it. Wow. Can you imagine that? Well, you've been doing this a long time, and you had told me you've never really seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this, though it does make sense if you're a criminal. Oh, jeez. Well, hopefully Russia. somebody watching can call in a tip yes. or something. By the way, do you have a story that you would look uh, like us to look into? You can always send us an email to report it at coin.com or click on the report it tab on the Coin6 News app. Thanks, Dan. Good stuff.